Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to the Abominable Snow Beast for another rank 1 clear. This time we're going to be doing an Earth clear. So as I mentioned earlier and if you were watching my live stream, I did use a few summon tickets for Barrel. We got Barrel. Then you can get EX2 immediately with Replica Lapis as well as VIP coins. So with a few tickets, one copy of Barrel, VIP coins, Replica Lapis, EX2 immediately. So we're going to be using Barrel and Sukiko for the Earth Fields Earth Support, Sylvie for the Demon Killer Earth Support, um, Barrel does the Beast and Human Killer, we've also got Beast Killer from Nora. Uh, Dwayne, Nora, and Barrel will be the big damage, Sukiko a little bit of damage as well, and then Elena to die a whole lot. So here's the party. I'll show you the turn chart in the comments, um, gear at the end, etc. So overall, this rotation, um, or this clear, is a little bit easier, it seems, than the fire clear. As expected, you're using the special banner unit barrel. Um, but yeah, if you don't have Hayo, if you don't have Deuce, if you don't have Ayabrea, etc., uh, here is an alternative option. So anyway, on turn one, in order to uh, seal the boss, we will imbue the party with Earth using Barrel. We'll also have him do his field on turn one. And then just a bolting strike attack to uh, seal the boss. Elena on turn one for the big damage is going to cover um, Sanctuary and then Omni cover for the big mitigation. Dwayne will just blood shield and double bolting for morale. <coughs> Nora will living for the morale and then just some bolting a few times. Sukiko is going to start in the base form and then go to the shift form. Then we're going to do Omamori, Quicksand to break, and then Earthquake. And then Sylvie on turn one for the big mitigation will do burgeoning defense and then vines and petals. So there's quite a bit of attacks on this boss that ignore cover, but uh, you know, with the mitigations and all, we're going to be overall okay as well as, you know, a few sources of guts and all that kind of fun stuff. <clears throat> okay, so turn one, 90% <clears throat> mitigation, no big deal, totally fine, we got this handled. Okay, so for this turn, we're going to use Sylvie to put up compassion for the uh, immunity buffs, and then just vines and petals for the morale fill. We'll use Sukiko to go to the base form here. We'll purify to cure that in peril. Then we'll do, um, let's see, Maiden's Consecration earth nope I'm doing this wrong then we're gonna do the field uh, purging mandala um you know what yeah let's do it that way let's do purging mandala and then let's do maidens consecration earth we don't actually need protection let me actually change my turn chart and real quick Sorry about that. Had to do a small adjustment. There we go. That's a lot cleaner. Anyway, so we're going to LBU. We're going to LBU. Barrel on this turn will Stuffed Animal. Let's see. Stuffed Animal will do Earth Eclipse and will do Jingle Bell Rock. And Elena it will use with this protection. We're going to use Brisk Daybreak just for the morale fill and then Shelga for the bigger spirit buff. Okay, so we've still got 85% mitigation from Sylvia for the moment, so we don't need to use Elena's LB yet. Not to mention, the boss does really, really big damage every third turn. Um, turns 1, 4, 7, 10 are going to be really hard-hitting attacks on your tank, but the other two turns are low damage attacks. Some AoE stuff that ignores cover, but those are always pretty low damage. It's just the tank damage gets really, really high some turns. So this turn, we need to use an offensive LB to seal the boss. So we're going to do that with Elena. That'll also give us the um, mitigations for later in the fight. Uh, now, we don't want to use the SLB of Nora and them, because we're going to be doing a big burst on turn 6 in this clear. So we're just going to do some damage here. So we're going to LBU. Nora will support chain with quad bolting. Unfortunately, no one's going to chain the last hit, but whatever. Dwayne will triple bolting. We're going to shift barrel, and we're going to do cute doll hell mode, which is a triple bolting attack. <laughs> so cute doll hell mode. Um, let's see. Elena did her thing. Yeah. So we're going to send 
Tsukiko, wait, 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 send the rest. Tsukiko's LB is really slow. So, there it is. Uh, and this, this is not a big damage turn, by the way. This is just a little bit of bonus damage, because why not? And then Sylvie can just reload here. We'll refresh Compassions, Binds, Pedals, all that fun stuff. <coughs> okay, so again, low damage turn here, so no big deal. Next turn is going to be the big damage. And we did an LB, so he's not going to do his uh, strong attack. You see that at the top of the screen, the enemy is overcoming his limits. That means use an LB to prevent that. He does that every third turn. So we're going to use an LB on this turn. Uh, offensive LB. It's got to be an LB that deals damage, by the way, as far as I understand it. So like these SLBs from Nora and Dwayne, they do not count. So we're going to use Barrel's base form LB for the mod buff and the racial mitigation. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm just looking at my turn. i to make sure I got all this right. We're going to Quicksand and Double Earthquake. Elena is going to guard this turn. Because this turn is going to hurt, and we don't want her to die at the moment. Um, we don't care if she dies later. But for now, we don't want her to die. Uh, we're going to Ramping Earth Amplify with Sylvie. And we're going to do a Double Clever to refill the LB gauge <coughs> of people like Beryl, um, Elena, etc. Make it a little bit easier on the follow-up turns. So with Elena guarding on this turn, you should be okay with Beryl's mitigation and all that. She shouldn't die. Yeah, she's fine. Well, she went below half health, so as you see, if she was not guarding, that would have been a death, unfortunately. But um, she guards, and it's okay. Yeah, the boss hits really hard. Anyway, so Sylvie on this turn will Demon Killer on Beryl. It's going to be a bigger Demon Killer. Uh, we're going to Gravel Egg so that we have the Earth Amp for later. And then we're going to just Clever to refill LB Gauge in case anyone needs it. Elena on this turn. This is a low damage turn. So we're going to Cover. <laughs> we're going to Bolting to fill her LB. <coughs> and we're going to Bar Blizzaja. Uh, Barrel on this turn will 150 Amplify. That's not it. Uh, Ye Guilty. We're going to Cute Doll. And we're going to refresh that field. Dwayne is going to Arcane Supplementation. We're going to Magnus to make sure his LB is filled. Uh, and then Bolting. We're not using, um, we're not using Fire. Uh, Nora is going to Beast Killer, slightly bigger than Barrels. We're going to Beast Killer. We're going to double Bolting. And we're going to Magnus Last Action. And Tsukiko will Quicksand and double Earthquake. And we'll chain this up a little bit. It's not really a damage turn, but as much as we can is fine. Just make sure you're not pushing the boss below 75 on this turn. Yeah, we don't want to go below 75 until our big burst, which is coming next turn. But, you know, we're at 84. We're fine. So, again, low damage turn here should be fine. Turn 6 is also a low damage turn. And because of that, we're actually going to shift Elena and do a little bit of extra damage with her. So, some auto casting, let all this finish. So, we're going to shift Sylvie. She already shifted. We're going to use her L LB first. We're going to shift Elena and do her shifted LB for a little bit of bonus damage. Beryl's going to shift and do his LB. Nora LB, Dwayne LB, and Sukiko shifted LB. So, again, Sukiko's shifted LB is pretty slow. So, we're going to do Sukiko, wait just a moment, then we're going to send. Um, uh, Nora Dwayne Barrel, wait just a moment, and then we're going to weave in Elena. So, Sukiko, wait, 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 send this, wait, 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 send Elena. And that should all weave together, give you a 100 count chain score, um, deal with a 5 billion damage cap, and it should push below 50%, which we did. We're good. That was the goal there. So, 6.3, not quite as hard hitting as like the fire clear, but, uh, you know, it's fine. We got it. 6.3 is, is way more than we need. So there you go, low damage turn. <clears throat> well, it wasn't quite that low. We lost Sukiko, but that's totally fine. That's totally fine. And Sylvie gutched. Yeah, the threshold, um, that threshold, by the way, is a one-time thing. He's not gonna he's not he's not gonna do that big cover ignoring attack again. I guess Sukiko should probably get guts, huh? Um, so that doesn't happen. But it, it doesn't really matter that she died, because she's going to rebuff this turn anyway. So if, she, if she's going to die, that's the perfect time to do it. So Omomori, Quicksand, and that. Uh, we're going to SLB these. Yeah, that, that, that 75 threshold where he ignores cover 
is just crazy painful. It is an earth attack. You can immune it if you want to, but um, honestly, it just guts it or whatever. Uh, so to the base form with Barrel, we are going to, let's see here, Arcane Supplementation, Stuffed Animal, and Field again. Basically a refresh turn. Elena, um, she didn't die, but we need to do her LB for mitigation this turn. So Sylvie is going to... I've got your back on Elena to refill her. We're going to Ramping Amplify again, and we're going to Demon Killer on Barrel. And that'll allow Elena to use the base form... Oh my god, I'm pushing all kind of wrong buttons. and I push repeat by accident? I'm so bad at this. Anyway, to the base form with Elena... Base form LB. We'll try to like sort of chain it with Sukiko, but not really. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a terrible, a terrible chain attempt. It doesn't matter. That that was a setup turn. So we are gonna lose Elena this round, unfortunately. She is going to get super killed because we're not guarding. Remember, every third turn is a big attack, so turns one, four, seven. Goodbye, Elena. But we should counter with Sylvie and bring her back. There we go. Sylvie counters. Yeah, you, we need we need a Sylvie build for that re-raise, but we're fine. If you don't have any counters on Sylvie. Just bad luck. Um, unfortunately, try it again. That, that, that does rely on a little bit of RNG, but there's a lot of attacks that ignore cover, so Sylvie should should have a really high chance to counter. Anyway, so we're going to Petals, we're going to Vines, and we're going to Compassionate right there. Elena died, so we're going to Cover and Bar Blazaja twice. Now you can if you really want to, and eh, that should be fine. Honestly speaking. All right, Barrel on this turn is going to, let's see here, Jingle, Bell Rock. We're going to Earth Eclipse and Holiday Mode. That's going to be, where's Holiday Mode? There it is. That's going to be a big um, Earth Resist and Magic Mitigation for Elena. Uh, let's see. We're just going to triple bolting with Dwayne. We're going to quad bolting with Nora. <coughs> And Sukiko will quicksand and double earthquake. Yeah, we did arcane supplementation last turn, so we don't actually need the morale buffs. Okay, a little bit of damage right here. So we're going to do a lot more damage in just a second. We're going to do another burst in just a moment. Okay. Yeah, there, there's Elena taking a big old hit right there. Um, you know, if she dies, uh, maybe use more mitigations on turn 8, but uh, overall she should be, for the most part, okay. So, <clears throat> we're probably going to kill the boss right here. If you don't, it's totally fine. But um, just in case, we'll go ahead and use the uh, healing. We'll do the, the resist buff. We'll do all the buffs right here. Um, we can also do remedial will to remove... Uh, in perils and all that, but we're probably gonna win here. So we're gonna LB here, and if we don't, it's totally fine. It's totally fine if we don't. Um, we're gonna shift barrel. Nope, we're gonna base form barrel and do his base form LB. Elena, in case we don't win, we're gonna we're gonna prepare to not win. We're going to Omni cover. We're going to nope. Yeah, we're gonna Omni cover. We're going to Sanctuary and with this power. That's in case we don't win here. Uh, Sylvie will shift here and do the shifted LB. You do need to put a lot of LB refill gear on her so that she has her LB for this turn. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and send Sukiko. Wait, 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 wait. Chain the rest. And either we win here or we don't. Either way, it doesn't matter. No, we're not going to win. Oh, 1%. 1%. We were so close to winning right there. Oh, well. Again, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a totally nothing turn, as you see right here. Now, the boss does have um, buffs and all right here, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to win regardless. Okay, so what we're going to do right here... Now, you can either, either use SLBs and get ready to burst again on turn 11. If you're concerned about it, that is an option. The boss is at 1%. So we're going to just go ahead and kill the boss because, like, really, right here, no problem. So we're going to Enigma a few times. Um, yeah, we'll just, like, 
burst again? This is burst again. Let's, um, I'm going off script from the turn chart, but that's okay, because I want to get turn 10 clear. So we're going to gravel. You got to gravel to re-imbue. Our imbues faded this turn. And we're just going to double clever. I should stick on script, huh? But we're not going to. Let's absolute mirror or absolute. Yeah, let's do this. We're, 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 we're going to... The boss is at 1%. Give me a break. So we're just going to bar Blazega. And again, I am I am going off script here. Keep that in mind. Uh, we didn't quite get Tsukiko. That's fine. That's fine. So we're going to shift you. So LBU, uh, you're doing some boltings. You're going to do this. That's support chain. And yeah, uh, the LB is going to break the chain. You know what? I don't care. The boss is at 1%. He's going to die. So there it is. Um, chain's probably going to break. It might not. Hey, it didn't even break. That is surprising because no one was doing bolting with barrel. Anyway, there's a turn 10 clear. Again, the turn chart was intended to go to turn 12, but I, I saw an opening for a turn 10 clear, so we did it. Um, but yeah, we might have, you know, and with a good variant, you could have gotten a turn 9 clear. But anyway, there it is. There's a perfect rank 1, and here is the damage breakdown. Dwayne and Nora are very, very good for this style of fight, because they have that perfectly repeating 3 turn at EX3. They have that perfectly repeating 3 turn rotation, and that really fits in perfectly with the boss's rotation. They really want you to have an EX3 rotation. Um, it's pretty obvious. And Dwayne and Nora fit that flawlessly. Uh, Sukiko, surprisingly good damage here. Um, Evocation does ignore the mitigations of the boss, so that helps a lot. The boss does have mitigation some turns. Sukiko totally ignores it. So that gives her a nice little boost there. And then Barrel, um, EX2, a little bit of an awkward rotation, but he did fine. Good damage. And then Elena only really did damage on turn 6. The rest of the time she was tanking. So, yeah. Now, when I show you the gear, um, it was requested that when I show gear of rank 1 clears, um, normally when I show a gear, I just leave the modifiers off to show you the base form of the units, but it was requested that I show gear with all the modifiers turned on, so you see their modified resistance, defense, spirit, etc. So keep that in mind, this is with all the modifiers turned on when I show you the gear. Now, as far as Espers go, Nora is on Ifrit for the Overkiller Beast. Beryl is on Ramu for the Overkiller Demon. If you don't have those, you know, whatever. Uh, and then here is the party. So, Sylvie is passive provoking. Honestly, I don't know if that even matters, but why not? Um, and I gave her Call of the Wild and Blizzard Orbs. That's for some LB fill, morale fill. She's got 12 LB per turn. Shift form, same thing. Um, but the counter build is really important. And then Call of the Wild and 12 LB per turn, that gives her um, the uh, the LB back-to-back -back later in the fight. Elena, in the base form, is using... Um, she's wearing 200 resist to ice and earth. Keep in mind, with the modifier on, it's lowered by 100%. So... Here's the gear we're using, some bulk. Um, and we're also using Mystic Tenacity. This is for the automatic um, human and beast killer. And then we're also using the new materia, um, Mythica Preservation, for the automatic demon killer. This gives her a lot of racial mitigations that um, she might not always have, especially when she re-raises and doesn't have time to do her LB again. These reapply the racial mitigations and then the steady card. Shift form is still using enough resistance so she can tank on turn six, but um, a little bit of damage for the burst turn on turn six. Barrel in both forms. Um, I'm using Dragon's Brush and some LB fill to make his rotation a little bit easier. Uh, there we go. Max LB damage versus demons. Shift form, same thing. Um, the shift form has more passive, so we don't need as much LB fill. And then the Earth card. Uh, Sukiko, base form, morale fill, who cares, bulk. Shift form is um, 
you know, rod build. You can use her own SK Mark if you'd rather. Um, there it is. Now, I should have given her Guts, so this Hateful Agent should probably be, like, Oerber's Boon or something. Because she did die on turn 6. Yeah, turn 6 uh, the, on the Threshold attack. But, you know, whatever. Another Earth card. It didn't matter. Um, Nora, right here. LB damage versus the combo of the boss. We have all the stuff. Some chain speed increase, etc. We gave her the turning point card. Um, you could also use things like Zack's card or just whatever card you want. And then Dwayne. Um, again, max to all killers. Max damage, some chain speed, and uh, we gave him the fire card. Okay. Turn chart will be in the comments. Hope it helps. See you in a bit.